Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with, yeah, another one, another three box break of 2022 Fanatics Under Wraps 2.0 autographed baseballs. This is break number 36. One spot gets you nine players and one of those spots are going to get any and all multi-signed baseballs. Big thanks to this group for making this break happen. I appreciate you. So let's uh, multiply that list by nine. And then we'll run the randomizer. There you go. So there'll be 171 items on each list. Let's gather all your names for the first list. And let's gather all the names from this list. Yeah, from the 2020 World Series ball, the future Hall of Famers on that World Series winning team. Definitely Clayton Kershaw. Mookie Betts? Freddie, no, not Freddie Freeman. He was afterwards. Mookie Betts? Maybe. Clayton Kershaw, absolutely. All right. Let's roll it. Randomize names and players. Four and a four. Eight the hard way. Me too, Serge Rose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Put the results in this first tab here. Four and a four, eight the hard way for the players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Here's the first part of the list right here. We'll just keep going through it. Just want to show you the list as is before I alphabetize by your first name. Yeah, that's an interesting trivia question that Oliver's bringing up. Because he was like, he was thinking, were there any Hall of Famers on that 2016 Cubs team? And then I, that got me to thinking, I feel like most World Series winning teams have to have at least one Hall of Famer, right? Most of like 90% of the time has to, right? It'd be interesting to, to pull up that data. All right, there's everyone there. Let's sort by your first names. And so, Eric, there are your players here. Good luck. And Eugene, there are your players right there. Kevin, they're your players. Sal, there's your group right over here. Plus your last spot mojo players. Tyler, there's your players here. I think you might have the rest, Tyler. Yeah, you do. There you go. All right, we're going to pause the video, see if there's any trades. When we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back, folks. No deals were done. List remains. In fact, I'm going to alphabetize this by player name. Makes it a little bit easier for me. Let's see who we got. Good luck. All right. Oh, that's his full, okay, we got, we, got, we got a full name here. Okay, that's pretty cool. We've had this player before, but we have not had, um, we've had this player before, but not with this uh, inscription. 71 years old, born in Colorado Springs, Colorado. 310 saves and a ninth ballot Hall of Famer, 2008 with 85.8% of the vote. Nine-time All-Star World Series champion, a three-time AL saves leader. 
Who am I? Yeah, Goose Gossage. Richard Michael Gossage. Ooh, Serge Bros. You got to retract that statement. Retract that statement. Marion has a little more than 310 saves. <laughs> Quick, you can retract it. No one will have to know. Got the full name inscription there. Although, oh no, we, we copy the... Oh no, that chat's on the... You can't, too late. It's public. All right, Goose Gossage. I want to say the only two geese, there's another goose in baseball, right? I think the only two goose names that are that were in baseball ended up being Hall of Famers. So if your kid has a goose nickname, Eugene, Eugene with Goose Gossage, full name inscription. All right, we've had this player before as well, but I don't think I don't think this person will mind seeing that. All right, we got a righty Venezuelan outfielder. Three-time All-Star, two-time All MLB second team, an NL rookie of the year, two-time Silver Slugger, an NL stolen base leader. And part of, and already a part of the 30-30 club in his young career. Man, what a family. Acuna's, yeah, it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Acuna's grandfather, Romaldo Blanco, and his father, Ronald Acuna Sr., both played minor league baseball. Acuna Sr. represented uh, Venezuela in the 2011 Pan Am Games. Acuna is the eldest of four sons. A younger brother, Luis Angel, is in a shortstop with the Rangers. And then he's got two other brothers, too, that I think... Right, we got. There's another Acuna, I think, in Minnesota. And Uncle Jose uh, Escobar played for the Cleveland Indians in 1991. Several cousins have also played in Major League Baseball, namely Vicente Campos, Alcides Escobar, Edwin Escobar, Calvin Escobar, Tyler, with Ronald Acuna Jr. This guy's pretty good. This guy's definitely on Hall of Fame track. And you got the stickers right there as well. Right, Brian Acuna. All right, and once again, that is, uh, yep, for Tyler Sandberg with that one. All right, third and final. Good luck, everybody. We've seen this guy. What did he? Oh yeah, that's right. I think Brian Acuna. Oh, no, I think Luis Angel is on the Rangers, right? And Brian Acuna must be on the Twins, correct? All right. Um. Oh, right. All right. Retired baseball player, 54 years old, righty. Hall of Famer on the seventh ballot with 86.2% of the vote. Four-time All-Star, NL MVP, NL Rookie of the Year, Gold Glover, three-time Silver Slugger, NL RBI leader. Played for one team my entire career. Who am I? Um, he was famously, uh, famously traded. Traded away. This is probably one of the one of the one of those trades that they would want to take back. Late in the uh, in this season, this team, who were in search of relief pitching to prove their chance of making the playoffs, contacted this team about Larry Anderson. 
Stan Benjamin, who scouted the New England region for this team, recommended they ask for this player in return. This team initially had to take to his sparse home run production, but he persuaded them. The Red Sox took the Astros' offer. The trade is now considered one of the most sideways trades in baseball history. Named second worst trade in sports history, only behind Red Sox trading Ruth to the Yankees. Although, relief pitcher Larry Anderson pitched well down in the 19th stretch in 1990, he allowed three runs in 22 innings to help secure the Red Sox AL East Division title on the final day of the season. The A's swept them out of the ALCS. They then lost Anderson after the season when he was declared a new-look free agent due to the third collusion settlement. Wow. It was a collusion settlement. Yeah, sparse home run power, and then went on to hit 449 home runs in his career. That's Jeff Bagwell. That's right, Oliver. Part of the Killer Bees. That's awesome. There's both stickers right there. Got an MVP inscription. 297, 2,314 hits, 449 home runs, over 1,500 RBIs. Jeff friggin' Bagwell. And that goes to Sal. Sal Robles with the Jeff Bagwell spot. A killer bee going your way. Thanks, everybody, for watching. A lot of fun with us today. There'll be some more in the store, so check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.